Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Jesse. All right. 2021, Tops, Ellen Ginter, PYT, number uh, 11. Let's get to it. All right. We need to random that non-baseball spot. Let's roll the die. We're going to go eight times in the random. Everyone has a chance at the non-baseball spot. Copy, paste. Top name wins the non baseball spot. Good luck. And the money shot. Eight. Eight times. Top name Gary B. Congratulations. You win the non baseball spot. All right, anyone want to trade? Yes, no, maybe so. All right, how about this? Uh, I want you all to pick a number from one to three. One, two, or three. First number to get three votes will be the uh, winner. Grego says two. She says three. Billy says three. Chris says three, and there it is, three. All right, so three is an Uncle Jesse mix. So let's do this one. Skip this one. Do that one. Skip this one. Do this one. And then grab this one from the bottom. And there we go. So those last four boxes will be PYT 12. These are the four boxes for us now. And as always, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Isaac. Where's my, here it is. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. What do we have here? We have a rookie for the White Sox for a mini auto. Cody Hewer.
Oh, the filler team, too. And Eric's on a roll. This is true. Whoever told you that is not a liar, or at least wasn't lying to you then. When you're hot, you're hot. Sanchez, Relic for the Yanks. I, you know, I was thinking to myself earlier, I was like, man, this whole weekend has been nothing but Ginter with a splash of, like, basketball and football. Shoot, I'm not complaining, man. Four box breaks? I could do, I could do these all day. If these were full casers, different story. You give me too much credit, you know. Box five, box five, box five. All right, who's this guy? Jim Koch, brewer and entrepreneur. Yeah, isn't this the dude that makes, uh, I forget the brand of beer, Sam Adams. One down, three left. It's a relic of his t-shirt, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Drinks and makes beer for a living. I mean, how awesome is that? Right, 
box two. What you're going to do? Eric, I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea. Nice. Oreo Rookie. Mini Autograph. Dean Kramer. Yeah, the wood mini wasn't even, like, framed. They should have framed that. That would have been nice. And they, was, they, sh they should have made the framed wood, too. That would have been real nice. I do. I can't tell you the last time I went golfing. Chase. Is it just for the minis? On those Brooklyn backs? You might want to see your your urologist, uh, J Max. You might want to get that checked out. You mean this? These? For the Big Mac. Oh, no, I haven't hit that, Eric. A red back? No. But I've hit a couple with... Uh, you know, hand numbered to 25, but not a red back. Are there, are, is that exclusive to the minis? Those uh, red backs?
Cause I've been checking the back of all the minis. Oh, okay, good. I was about to start crying. We have Mr. Dozier, Dodgers Relic. Two down to the go. Water break. Where's my water? We got a Trey Turner Relic, Nationals.
My left arm feels weird. Probably that high blood pressure. I don't know, sometimes I feel like a weird sensation on my left arm, like my hand, and it just goes like all throughout my left arm. I think it's probably due to my uh, high blood pressure. Like it doesn't hurt, it's just, just weird. Kind of feels like it's going numb. Like it feels like there's a, like a pressure. I don't know, it's kind of weird to explain. <laughs> the old WC. <laughs> uh, I do not check my uh, blood pressure throughout the day. I don't even take the. I don't even take medicine for it. I don't like taking medicine. you tease you a Soto frame mini relic for the Nationals Yeah, I probably have a pinch nerve somewhere or something. I have a blood pressure machine, Joe Paul. I bought one. I have one. It's I just don't use it. And I don't I don't even know how to read that stuff, honestly. I asked I, I mean I, I've asked the nurse before, like, oh what's the what's the normal healthy range? And they would tell me and I just never Remember, I'm sure it's a Google search away. Probably, I mean, listen, the, you know, I always heard two a day keeps the, the, you know, the doctor away or whatever. Dude, that's that's what I'm talking about, Cheeto. Shit, I'm 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 looking into one right now. Actually, might see her tomorrow. Might see her Tuesday. I don't know if I'm lucky. One twenty over one eighty. We got Mr. Uh, Kevin Smith, rookie D backs. Well, Chase, that's that's a given. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if I started exercising regularly, that would help with the blood pressure. Drinking more water would help with the blood pressure. Uh, what else? Obviously, your diet's a huge, 
deal. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. I haven't bought fast food in a long time. It's been, honestly, it's been months. It's been weeks uh, since I've, like, gone to a fast food place and bought, like, McDonald's or Burger King or anything like that. So that's improvement for me. Breaking while running on a treadmill. Well, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. You know, I, I can only imagine. Uh, well, for one, the breathing would be out of control. Right? Uh, and number two, I'd, dude, I'd be sweating like everywhere. The card, All the cards would be soaking wet. And I'd probably be fumbling them around. Yeah, that would not be a good look. That would not be a good look. I need to find a gym that's 24. Like, I would like, like, if I had, uh, whatever. Let me just shut up. Because I need to stop talking about it and just, just freaking do it. Oh, this is the last box. Box four. The time flies when you're having fun. Chase, you read my mind. Uh, dude, I, I would love to go to 24-Hour Fitness. Uh, actually, I used to go there. And the one by my house, it dude, had, there was a sauna an Olympic-sized pool, and a full basketball court. So when I used to work out, dude, I'd be there all the time. You know, before work, I'd be there like at 3 in the morning or something. But yeah. They're not 24 hours anymore, actually. Because of COVID... They changed their hours at 24 hour fitness. It's just, uh, my schedule's so weird, man. Yeah, I come into the office around, you know, 3 o'clock. You know, 2 or 3 o'clock. I don't leave until. You know, two, three in the morning. So I'm here for 12 hours at least. Five days out of the week. And, but at the end of the day, I just got to stop making excuses. I know what I need to do. I just got to do it. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. So I'm not going to talk about it no more. Yeah, dude, Chase. Okay, I guess I'm going to keep talking about it. Dude, I yo, I hate to say it, man, but I'm so fat, bro. Walking hurts. Like, I can't walk a mile. I can't walk a quarter of a mile before I have to stop and, like, catch my breath. My lower back is hurting. Like, I'm sweating uncontrollably. Like, I'm not, like, I'm just, like, I, it's such a terrible feeling. But like, like just, dude, just, just doing dishes. If I'm standing up doing dishes for more than five minutes, my back starts to hurt. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it's just not a cool feeling. So of course, it's like, oh, what's the point of working out if if I can't even work out? So then you just, you just you get stuck in the cycle of just not doing anything. But yeah. I would love to uh, go swimming, actually. That's, like, the best cardio you could probably do. I could probably swim no problem. 
But walking, yeah, bump that noise. I also was thinking about buying a bicycle and just riding my bike to work. But then I started thinking, hmm, do I really want to ride my bike back home at 3, 4 in the morning? Probably not. So then I think to myself, well, what if I buy one of those uh, Bowflex machines or uh, get like a treadmill or something for the house? And then I start thinking, well, you need to get out more, Uncle Jesse. How about you just go to a gym? And then I start thinking, well, what's the point of it all? I don't want to do anything. So then I don't do it. So then I go with that option. Anyways. Wrapping this thing up here. The hot box will be in the other four boxes, apparently. Hot box didn't come out of here. I think we still need one more hit. Hopefully it's a nice autograph. Or something super duper rare. You know what? I'm actually, I'm going to weigh myself right now. Well, not right now, but. I have, a, I have a scale out there. Oh, there's the last hit. Derek Lee. Cubs. Nice, Chase. Nice. All right. Still got the loaders to open. Let's see what we got. Carlos Mariners. That's awesome, Chase. Keep it up, man. Proud of you, dude. That's that. That's it's tough, man. That shit is tough. Keep up the good work, my dude. What do we have here? Yeah, Alec Baum. Phillies rookie loader. And here. We got a judge. Rookie uh, loader. Well, not rookie. I'm sorry. A judge uh, box loader. All right, so let's recap what we got. We got Relics for Lee, Urias, Wood Jr., Smith, Turner, Dozier, McGuire, Koch, Sanchez, Afrim, Soto, Manny, that's nice, uh, Dean Kramer, Orioles, and Cody Hewer, White Sox, Supreme Minis. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you all. I'll get it out there.